Hello all. Welcome to the video on Android Material Design in which we will be learning about the implementation of the Recycler View and Card View in our demo application. In the previous video, we had learnt what the Recycler View and Card View is and I had briefed you about the steps we will be following to implement it. The first step that we had talked about was to create the list item layout using the card view widget. So without wasting further time, let us move to Android Studio and start creating the list item layout using the card view in our application. I have already shown you the basic project setup that I had made for creating the recycler view and the card view application. Let us move to the layout folder and create a new XML file with the card view as the root layout. We will be having the root element as the card view. We can see the widget that automatically appears for the card view. This is because we have implemented the dependency for the card view also. Let us choose this as the root layout and create the XML file. So here is the XML file for list item. This will be the layout for the individual item in our recycler view. Now this was the item for the recycler view that we will be needing for each item. This view contains a image view, a text view and two icons, one for delete and one for copy. Now let us implement this widgets in the item layout. So here is the code that I have written for the individual list item for our recycler view. I have added few attributes for the card view layout. I have given the layout margin left as 5 dp, right as 5 dp, top as 5 dp and then I have given it an elevation of 5 dp. I have also given the card corner radius as 5 dp. After defining the attribute for the card view, I have added a linear layout inside which all the widgets of our item will be present. For the linear layout, I have given the color as white and the orientation as horizontal. In this linear layout, we have the image view for which the source is drawable flower1. This flower1 image is present in our drawable folder. And for the image view, I have given the ID as image thumb. Next is the text view, which has the title of TV title. And these are the few attributes that I have applied to the text view. There is another linear layout inside the linear layout for each item. In this linear layout, we have these two buttons for delete and add operation. I have given the orientation for this linear layout as vertical. The ID for the icon to delete the image is image delete. And this icon is present inside the drawable folder. For the copy image, the ID is image copy and again it is inside the drawable folder. So here we are done with creating the list item dot XML for the individual item in our list for the recycler view. The next step is to add recycler view to activity main dot XML. Let's move to Android Studio and add the recycler view widget to activity main dot XML. Moving to activity main dot XML let us add the recycler view widget. So this is the widget for the recycler view that I have added in the activity main dot XML. The ID for the recycler view, it is the recycler view. The width is match parent and height is match parent. So we are done with adding the recycler view widget to the activity main dot XML. The next step we need to follow is to create the data model to feed the recycler view. Now we need to create the data model that has to be fed to the recycler view to show the list of items in our application. Now for the data model, I have created another Java class naturemodel.java. In this class, what I have done is I have defined the two field variables, one for the image and other for the title. Here you can see on the right side of the screen, we have an image and the title for the image. So these are the two field variables for the two widgets in our list item. Now for this image and this title, I have set the getter method 
and the setter method for the image the get title and the set title for the title now let us expand this and see what happens this get image id will return the id of the image and for the setter class for the image it sets the id of the image then same with the get title and then the set title i have created another method get object list this object list will return the data list which will have the list of the image and the title of each item in the list of the recycler view i have defined the instance data list of the nature model class and then there is the array of the images which calls the get images function this get images function i have defined here in this get images function there is the array of the images which have the list of all the image that i have in my drawable folder i have made it this way to make our learning easier and then this function returns the array of the images which we can use in our data model after we get the array of images here is the loop that will add elements to this data list i have defined another instance nature of the nature model class and then the image id is set as image i which comes from this array and then the title is set for the picture to make it easier i have made it this way picture i where i will be the count for the image then to this data list the nature is added the nature object is added and then the data list is returned with a complete list of the items that we will be having in our recycler view so this was the data model for our recycler view so we are done with creating the list item layout we have added the recycler view to activity main.xml we have also created the data model to feed the recycler view the next step we need to follow is to create the custom adapter for our recycler view so let's move to android studio and create the custom adapter for our recycler view in the main activity java i have created another class my adapter now let us write codes in this my adapter class to create the custom adapter for our recycler view our custom adapter will be extending the recycler view dot adapter so let us extend the recycler view dot adapter this my view holder is a custom class that we will be creating thus my adapter class will be inherited from the recycler view dot adapter and now we need to create the my view holder class after this now let us create my view holder class and extend the recycler view dot view holder resolving this error we need to create the constructor matching the super and for this we need to create class my view holder which we have already done then we will be implementing the methods we resolve this error by pressing alt enter now we need to implement all these methods in our class so hitting okay we get all the classes in our my adapter dot java we also need to implement on bind view holder method and since the my view holder class is inside the my adapter class we need to make it my adapter dot my view holder the my view holder on create view holder returns null let us minimize this functions as of now and create the constructor for my adapter and add some field variables so here i have created the constructor what i have done is i have created the two field variables and this is the constructor the my adapter constructor has two parameters one is the context and the other is the object list the context is the context from which this my adapter class is called and the object list is the list of the data items in the inflator field variable i have assigned this context and to the object list field variable i have assigned this object list which has the list of the data model which will be fed into our recycler view now after creating the constructor let us move to on create view holder 
this on create view holder method is called when a view is created now let me write the code in the on create view holder method and then i'll be explaining what it is the on create view holder has two parameters parent and the view type i have defined another variable view which will inflate the data items so here in the on create view holder in this view variable we have inflated the layout for the list item and again there is one more instance for the my view holder class which i have named as holder in this holder i have passed this view which has the layout of the list item and then simply the holder is returned which has the view in which the list item layout is present after this let us write the code for the on bind view holder method in the on bind view holder method we have an instance of the nature model which will get the current position of the object list now after the on create view holder which is called while creating a view on bind view holder method is called for each of the list item for the on bind view holder method i have created an instance current of the nature model class from which i am retrieving the position of the current object this position will be helpful while we set some listener to the object so that the current object can be operated on after fetching the position of the current object using the holder instance i have created a instance of the nature model which is using this position to get the object which is currently in use this position helps to retrieve the object and then stores it in the current which is the instance of the nature model now simply using the instance of the my view holder class that is the holder we can set data for the current object which is present in the given position now let us create the set data method in my view holder class pressing alt enter we have to create the set data method now this set data method fetches the current object and the current position in this method we will be setting the data for the list item here this is the code i have written inside the my view holder class i have defined the text view here which is for the title the image view as the image thumb we have two images for each item layout one is the image delete image copy and image thumb is the thumbnail image then the position of the current item here is the current object instance of the nature model class then in the my view holder i have initialized the title the image thumb delete and the copy image after this in the set data method the title is set to the current object's get title this get title will be fetching the title of the current object then the image thumb is fetched with reference to the current object calling the get image id method then this position is set from the position that is sent from the on bind view holder method then this dot current object is this current so we have set the adapter for our recycler view we are done with setting the custom adapter for the recycler view the next we need to do is to link the custom adapter to our recycler view in the next video we will be following this step and completing the implementation of the recycler view in our application that's all for this video stay tuned for further videos thank you keep smiling and have a good day